I can keep this in the rotation so this doesn't happen. Yeah, no. <laughs> Give me that. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's what I tell the the kids that you know, like uh, batteries are dying on their motorcycles. I said, man, just bring it to my house. I keep it in the rotation. I said, I ride these things, you know. <laughs> It's going to delete it. It'd be great to have the lights and all the accessories. Hell yeah. It stays on. So it's always draining the battery. So I'm just going to put a switch there by the power to it. Or yeah. Yeah. If we're not using the Jeep for a month or whatever, just turn the switch off. Shit, yeah. And then when you need to turn the battery back on, it lightens everything up. Brilliant. Another damn thing to do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just drive it, man. I know. All right, my brother. Thanks again. I love you, man. Love you. Enjoy. That's the way to roll. Go say hi to your pee pee peeps in the morning. Start your day off incredibly well. And yeah, welcome to the uh, the Motobaum Virginia channel today. I'm just not, you know, it might be a little giggle or a little funny, but then again, hey. But if you're getting offended, you can work on that stuff. Like, I really don't care. I'm used to caring, so yeah, I think about it and, and I, and I uh, wonder a little bit, but in reality, when I look at it and think about it, like, what do you care for? You know, really, what do you care for? I had to learn about a lot of things in life that may have offended me or thought was this way or that way and let bother or irritate me or you know it's like man that stuff just filled up your life with um, issues of wanting to control and correct and wow wow where does all that come from your childhood or something I would imagine some of that or what you experienced in your life and who you surrounded yourself up with you know but I think we all grow up with you know correction and direction and and all that it's uh, the process of maturing beyond that that took me a while that's for sure I was a very late bloomer I'm still blooming <laughs> Are you in the blooming process? I don't want to be wilting, that's for damn sure. You know, I could I'd take a repot, a reseed, you know, a transfer. What else? Some new, uh, new climate change, whatever. I just want to be growing. Just for today. We want to grow. Yeah, we got plenty of Petro. Petro to make it to work and back. Yeah, I didn't take my R1. I think I ran out of clutch. I had to loosen it up a little bit as she slipped on me. So, and I've been having a little bit of trouble putting it in neutral the last, I don't know, month or two off and on. And I kind of suspected it was uh, a clutch problem. And I should have adjusted it a little bit. But man, she's been powerful and going, and then all of a sudden decides to slip, you know. And she slept pretty good. So I was a little wondering, what the heck? Once they go, they go. You know, I mean, it gets me around and whatever, but I definitely couldn't put any power to it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just doing what I can. I can shut these heated grips off, I do know that. Yeah, 65, probably in the upper 60s, right? Well, mid to lower, maybe mid 60s right now. It's just beautiful out, put it that way. That's the way to ride, convertible. Bet there'll be some beach goers today. It's Friday. Probably gonna have a little bit of traffic, I'm assuming. But let's see what happens when you assume. We'll find out right around the corner here in a couple hundred yards. Let's give assumptions by Motobomb 
a little checkup. Let's see how bright and wisdom he is. <laughs> Setting myself up for a little bit of. <laughs> well, definitely, I don't know. All we can do is have a laugh at it. Oh, it looks like the traffic is moving anyway. Won't be long, won't be long. You get a days, days like this consecutive for sure. They will be packed, loaded. What do they call them things? Uh, tourists. Yeah, it's okay, you can go. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta get up and help those people in front of you get out into traffic. They're not sure if it's okay to go. I'm glad I got my sunny visor on today. Whoo! <laughs> some some Ric Flair. You know you're doing good when you're you're, you're uh, throwing out some Ric Flairs. I'm flaring up. What you flaring for? I don't know. Uh, Japanese fighting fish, the betas. They flare. Put a mirror up to the. Uh, tank and you watch their gills flare out and they get mad they'd be showing themselves yeah that's the flare I'd be thinking of and away from the old uh, rubber thrower the tire thrower been a cop up here every day to and from <clears throat> Yes, they made a uh, different decision today to do something else. There's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with the cops, man. I just uh, talking the old regular old smack, a smack of ruse. Don't be talking smack until you got one right there in front of you. So, right? And I wouldn't be talking smack. That's when you know you're talking smack. <laughs> Unless you're Larry Bird and you can deliver your smack talking. That's what they say about him anyway. I don't know. I watched some Larry Bird games and he did some great stuff and but just watching a game and watching him in a game you just like you don't you don't see any more impressiveness than anybody else, but I'm not I ain't got a good eye for it. I can't I don't know what I'm really really looking for and understand. You see some other great stars rolling in through there and having their way at the basket. I just can't believe I thought I thought the Celtics had beaten the uh, in the 80s the uh, Lakers a time or two but it looks like the Lakers pretty much beat the Celtics every time even at home. I can imagine wasn't very uh, very pleasant if you're a Celtic. Oh man, is the weather nice. I ain't gonna say it, but I will. Wish it was like this every day. Either way you look at it, boy, if you've been out hitting that road hard out there. That poor boy sitting out there every day, held hostage to the medium. That almost piss you off. I mean, how hard is it to, uh, uh, well, you don't know. You don't know. You might have not one person here to, you know, look after, whatever. Might not have family that uh, gives a rip. You don't know. Uh, that'd be cool if they had the, uh, you know, something, that, assistance that would help for that situation. Just, you know, get you going. Once you get going, let you go. Wow. What did they do over there? They tore down the suds and soapies. Yeah, we're gonna have so much beachfront people and traffic down here. They're making room. Or they're rebuilding, I don't know. I don't know. There again, I don't know. And you know you gotta get one with with the bike, with Lucy. See them darker clouds off on the edge there. I'm sure that's part of the uh, cold front. And 
whatever else coming through. Should have a little lights. Uh, orangey, contrasted, uh, complementary, whatever they call that, right? Color, orange and blue. Sunset. Man, we get some pretty ones around here. They're pretty everywhere you're at. <laughs> I don't know, I just don't see it necessary to take a risk on the shoulder when the traffic's at least moving fairly good. But to each their own. <laughs> it's a Mc McDo. What's a McDo, man? Thank you.